Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, I am a full-time reseller and I sell undervalued goods on eBay for profit. So today's video, I wanted to show you the items that sold this weekend and how I make a full-time living reselling on eBay. I have been doing this now for over three years and this was a pretty good weekend. I've got a gross sales of almost $1,000. $950 to be exact. So um, let's go over everything. This is just a two day weekend, your average weekend. Um, but I had 16 items going out. Not too shabby. So let's dig right in. Um, first thing that's always going to be hot are your shoes. Um, I find these Clarks all the time. Um, these were only a couple bucks. Um, these JBU slides, those were only a couple bucks. Um, and each of these, the Clarks sold for 16 and these guys sold for 50 So, no, they're not big money, um, but 30 bucks for a couple pairs of shoes. I'm happy with that. And then the third pair of shoes are these Zero shoes. These ones I paid up at $7, but they sold for $40. So, um, this brand, X-E-R-O, I'm saying Zero, but I don't know if that's the correct way to say it. Um, but they sold for 40 bucks, and they're in pretty good condition couple other small items of the weekend. Um, I've got this Kansas City Chiefs hat. I paid a buck and it's $10. Uh, so another small guy. This Sonic hair brush set, um, brand new. I paid 50 cents for it, um, but I've had it a very, very long time. So these, yeah, these only sold for $13. So uh, definitely, I mean, sure, keep an eye out for Sonic hair heads. But this particular model is pretty old, so I just sat on it for a while. Um, another small guy goes to this Dyson uh, attachment. Anytime you can find Dyson attachments or shark attachments, I do pretty well with both of those. Um, this guy, I'm going to maybe a dollar, and it sold for $11. Uh, we've got some golf tools. These are the key adjustments for um, Callaway. I paid... 25 cents each on these. So I'm in this whole bag for a dollar and the whole set for 25 bucks. So that's an easy one. Um, we've got a camera here. I only paid a dollar 50 at a church sale. Um, it's a Minolta and this guy sold for $25. So nothing really too big this weekend. It's just about all these little bread and butter guys that are just adding up. Um, this Xbox 360 Connect, I paid a dollar at a garage sale, and it sold for 16 bucks. So, again, just a small item, not too hard to ship. Uh, they don't make these anymore, that's why the Connect is still going to hold its value. Um, this X Tech light meter, I did a trade on a local barter page. I had bought a pair of shoes, I paid $20. $20 too much for them because they were brand new in a box. Um, it wasn't from my new shoe dealer. This was an estate sale that I just overpaid on them. Um, it turns out they were not worth more than the $20 I paid. So I did a post where I was going to offer to barter. So I've got these nice brand new shoes. What do you have to trade? And this guy came back with this light meter and I was able to sell it for 50 bucks, $51. So um, cost of good technically is the 20 bucks that I paid for those shoes. Um, so I'm happy to take the $20 shoes and trade it for a $50 light meter. So that was a fairly quick sale, I'd say within a couple months. Um, we've got this Excalibur Bridge. Anytime you can find handheld gaming systems, uh, Yahtzee, Poker, um, Radica is the brand that usually sticks out to me. This one's not Radica, but um, that's one of the brands that make the handhelds and super easy to ship this set here manual with the game uh sold for 18 dollars, and i'm in it a dollar we've got a super smash brothers brawl this was one that was in a case of a different game that i bought so technically zero cost of good and uh it sold for 15 dollars. so easy thing there um now we're getting to the three bigger items We've got Waffle Maker. These Chrome Waffle Makers, definitely be on the lookout for them. Um, the Super Shiny, this one's an old GE, General Electric um, Waffle Maker. It's in, 
um, pretty good shape. It makes uh, little strips kind of. And he sold, I paid $5 and he sold for 50 bucks. So that's a good one. He's kind of heavy, but not too hard to ship. Um, this sound power source, sound and power, it goes to uh, a train set. I think it's a train set. It's got something sticky out of it. But um, this guy I picked up at my local thrift. I paid $15 and it sold for $110. I don't even think I paid 15. I think I had that confused with something else. So, um, but it sold for $115. I am thrilled with that. Um, I think I paid less than 10 on it, honestly. All right, and then the best sale of the weekend goes to this Magnavox. This Magnavox here is a hard drive recorder. So not only can you record to disc, but you can also record to an internal hard drive. I did test it. I've sold one before and they said the hard drive was bad. So this one, I loaded it up. I pulled up the hard drive and it actually has files on it. So if the hard drive, hard drive was bad, it wouldn't have files. So I have roughly a cost of good of about $15 in it. I picked it up for seven or eight at my local thrift, but I wanted to buy a remote for it. And the remote was like $7. So I made it roughly 15 bucks and it sold for a whopping 220 bucks. So again, 16 items. Oh, golf club. Last but not least goes to this Callaway golf club. This is a four iron, paid $5 at my same local thrift. And he sold for $47. All right, so that does wrap up all 16 items of the weekend. Uh, hopefully you saw something that you now know to look for when you're at the thrift stores. This is how I make a living doing this full time. Um, I do average about a thousand bucks on the weekends. And during the week, it's usually a couple hundred to two to three hundred dollars a day. So um, I definitely make more doing this than I ever did working full time. And the best part about this is you can scale it at your own, your own pace. You don't have to wait for a promotion. You don't have to wait to get a raise. If you wanna make more, you buy more. So um, that's what I love about reselling is you have complete control of your inventory and how fast and how much you can sell. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you won't miss any future videos. And I appreciate your support. Hope everyone has a wonderful day.